this is a combination of total body conditioning, Kathleen's class, and then Paula's Hatha yoga class. So we're gonna exactly do 30 minutes of total body conditioning, and then we're gonna do 30, maybe plus, minutes of some Hatha yoga stretching. So the equipment that I have are eight pound dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, it's no big deal. That's just gonna be for a little extra weight if you want. I have my yoga blocks, I have my water of course, and a sweat towel, because we're gonna sweat and then we're gonna chill. But first, good morning, Renee. Good morning, Melissa. Right now, we're just gonna stretch out our spine. So just twisting from side to side, looking over your shoulder as you twist. Arms just flail from one side to the other. And as I'm doing this, what I am noticing is how sore my body is. I'd like to think it's only from the workouts. However, I shoveled some snow yesterday. And let me tell you guys, if y'all want the most intense workout ever, shovel some snow. You will feel it the next day. All right, guys. I want you right here. Open up your legs. Inhale. Lift that big stretch and then back down. So we're just right here. We're not gonna spend too much time warming up because we just have a quick 30 minutes of total body conditioning and then 30 minutes of our hoppy yoga. Lifting up tall, inhaling and exhaling. Good morning, Lisa, Maiden, Martha. Good morning. All right, just a couple more. Four, hi Sarah. Three. Two, and here we go. All right, guys. I want you to take your hands all the way down and just stretch from side to side, just side to side stretch. You can actually, let's take our hands from right foot to left foot and left foot to right foot as we switch back and forth. Nice and deep. We are gonna do some lateral lunges. So I wanna get our lateral lunging muscles good and warmed up. Keep your back flat and reach. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to take your right leg back and just stretch up here for a second. Stretching out your right hip flexor. So left leg is in front, arms are lifted up tall. Stretch up, shoulders down, roll down your back. And now just for a couple taps up and down, nice and slow. Just stretching out this right hip flexor. Thank you all for being here. Inhaling and exhaling, I'm so glad you have power. Nice and slow. And then let's go ahead and switch. Take that left leg back, right knee in front. Watch this knee coming in, press it out to the side. Lift up and just hold the stretch. Maybe a little lower back stretch too as you lift up and back and also stretching deep into this left hip flexor. Now let's just take it down and up. A couple of knee taps right here. Nice and slow. Eyes stay forward. Just getting the hip flexors, the quads, the legs warmed up for four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, guys. I want you to shake out these legs. Big arm circles right here. So here's what we have. We have 10 exercises. Every exercise is broken up into two 30 second intervals. One is non-dynamic. The first 30 seconds is non-dynamic. Take it backwards. Now, the second 30 seconds is more dynamic. As dynamic as you want it to be. Then we go upper body and then lower body, back and forth for 10 exercises. All right, guys, here's what we have. You can grab your weights or not. We're conditioning. We're gonna really work on stamina for our heart and our muscles. All right, the first exercise, let me just show you, is just a weighted squat for 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds is up onto your tippy toes, so more dynamic or if you wanna jump, you can, okay? We're getting ready. I'm starting our timer. Everybody get your butts low right here, chest high. 
Here we go. We're starting in five. I'll tell you when to squat. Four, three, two. Here we go. Squatting up and down. If you want to hold the dumbbell right here to your chest, feel free to do that. So this is not a wide squat. We'll get there. We're just a good old basic squat right here. All right, guys, we have 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna take it, good morning, Jamie, straight into the dynamic option. All right, up onto your tippy toes or squat jump with or without your weights. You do what allows you to keep your best form the whole time. Down and up, keep your chest tall. Keep your legs touching the inside of your arms right here. There we go, five seconds, four, three, two, rest. Now we're shifting to upper body, but we get a 30 second break. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do push-ups. So arms the width of your mat. We're just gonna go down and up for the first 30 seconds, perfecting our form. The second 30 seconds is a pop, a push-up pop. If you don't wanna do that, you just keep pushing up. Regular, okay? Ready, set, here we go. Perfecting our push-up form right here. Inhale down, exhale up. Couple of tips, arms the width of your mat. Chin away from your chest. Your butt squeeze super tight. Core is strong and solid. Now, if you want to take it into that plyo push-up, good morning, Alice. Go for it. A little pop. It's just a little bit. Or maybe you can bring your one arm up and then the other arm up to modify that. This is not easy, but you are doing great. Do what you can do, keeping your best form. We're getting fatigued in the upper body. That's what this is for. Three, two, and rest. Woo, stretch it back in child's pose because you have time. All right, we're going back up to the lower body. Okay, lateral lunge. You can use weights if you want. Right here, we're going side to side. Then we're gonna drop it, and we're gonna do plyo, lateral lunges. You don't have to jump, you can just come to the middle and reach up. We're gonna start in three, two, here we go. Lateral lunges. So the one leg is bent while the other leg is completely straight. You do not have to use dumbbells for these. <laughs> Sister power, I am <laughs> looking at Leslie and Kay. You guys are perfectly in sync. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at the double mint twins. You guys look great. Three, two, drop it. Here we go. Take it into a little pop at the top. Don't short yourself on this deep, lateral stretch bend right here. Keeping your back flat. You don't have to jump at the top. You can just step together and reach. You got it. We're closing in. Stay with me. You're looking awesome. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're moving to a high plank. Where? Where we're just gonna step tap right here and then you know the drill then we're going out in for more dynamic cardiovascular option if you don't want to do that no problem you just keep stepping find that good high plank we're starting in two one here we go tapping out out this is a great beat if you can hear it hopefully chin off of your chest your eyes are looking straight between your hands grip your mat strong squeeze your butt tight and breathe 
Woo! Nice work, team. Great job, Renee. All right, guys, we're gonna take it to more dynamic out and in if you want. If not, you just keep tapping right to left. That one minute of work that we're doing, that's the good conditioning. One minute's hard to do of anything. We have 10 seconds. Don't let yourself stop. Your muscles are screaming, but you are stronger. You can do this. No rest. Yay. Woo. All right. <laughs> Good work. Now we have a right weighted lunge. What we're going to do is we're just going to step the right leg back and then forward. Back and forward. Then we'll drop the weights and we'll take it up and down. If you don't want that, just come up onto your tippy toes. Let's begin. Right leg goes back and we step it forward. Now, when you step it forward, squeeze your butt tight. Step it back. If you would rather go forward, certainly you can take it forward or you can take it back. Whichever you choose. Your left leg never leaves the ground. Your right leg is going front to back. Okay, drop the weights. We're going straight up. Up onto the tippy toes, or a little plyo pop. Watch this knee going over the toe. Don't let it do that. Just keep your posture really tall and upright. Yes, great form. Nice, Martha Lynn and Abba. Great job, Crystal and Sarah. Three, two, rest. Woo! All right, here's what we're doing. Moving to our core and upper body again. Side plank. Check this out. For the first 30 seconds, we're gonna be here or here. You can come to your knees. The second 30 seconds, we're gonna reach the left foot to the left hand and extend. Okay, right side plank. Ready, set, here we go. So I like to lift up my arm, even if I'm on a knee, because here's why. It helps my momentum shoot up and keeps it from dumping down into the mat or the ground. You don't have to do that, but keep this shoulder in its socket. Don't let it pop forward or back. Hold this here, eyes forward. Now drop to your right knee if you aren't already there and touch right hand, left hand to left foot. Reach and back, reach. Nice. So hopefully you're feeling this in your core. Yes, in the right shoulder. Great job. You got it. Nice, Emmanuel. Big reach, hand to foot. Both left arm and left leg are straight and carefully dismount. Carefully dismount. It's those dismounts where we get bad shoulder stuff. Okay, left leg this time. Left reverse lunge. So my left leg's going back, stepping together. Left leg back, and then together, and then we take it into that plyo. We still have five more seconds for the rest though. Let's enjoy it. Three, two, bring that left leg back, and then step together. Step together, squeeze your butt. As you step forward, keep your weight in your right heel. Don't shoot forward here. Keep the weight in your right heel. That's gonna keep it in your right glute. We have 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna take it into that more dynamic lunge, pop. All right, drop it. And here we go. Only go down as low as you can go, keeping your great form, protecting your knees. If you just wanna come up on your tippy toes, but either way, I want all of our arms going straight up and down, stretching out through the upper body. 
Good morning, Lisa Willis in Florida. All right, five seconds. Great work, Christy. You got it, Tally. Jamie looking good. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna take it to that left side plank where we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna touch our right arm to our right foot. Okay, here we go. So, shoulder, go ahead before you lift anything, pull the shoulder back. And then let's go ahead and lift. We're gonna go right now. Here we go. So open up this right shoulder. Stretch up high. Take this right hip, shoot it up towards the sky. Tall. Scoop out this left side of your body. Nice, Molly. Yes, Alice. The Lisa's. Debbie, looking good. Okay, we're gonna take it to our left knee right now. And we're gonna reach above our head and then touch and extend. Touch fingers to toes. Extend, chopping, slicing. Hopefully this feels good, maybe in that IT band as you stretch. Nice, Renee. All right. You guys, we are on exercise eight. We have two more to get to 10. And rest. Great job. All right, grab the dumbbells again. We're gonna target these inner thighs just with a basic weighted plie. So open up these knees big. Open up your shoulders big. Hold these dumbbells here. Roll your shoulders down and back. And really push the knees behind you. You want them to disappear outside of your peripheral vision. And we're just gonna go full range of motion, up and down, nice and wide. We wanna feel this. Keep going right here, right in those inner thighs areas. Keep your chest tall. Make sure you don't round. 15 more seconds. Then, as you probably expect, we're gonna take it into something a little more dynamic. A little bit of a plyometric plie pop with or without the dumbbells. Here we go. If you choose to use the dumbbells, super, super careful. Nice, Jamie. If you just wanna come onto your tippy toes, come onto your tippy toes. That's fine. Great work. We have 10 seconds. Ooh, burn, burn and burn. Five, stay with me. Four, we can do this. Three, two, rest. Woo, yes. All right, we are gonna target the triceps now. So fingers face forward. So body weight tricep dips right here. We just bend and press. A little dip and press. If that bothers your shoulders, take a dumbbell and just overhead tricep extend. Then the alternate exercise is we're gonna touch opposite hand to opposite foot. Ready, let's go. We are dipping. So the trick on the dips is keep the shoulders pinned back and together. And welcome to my house. So fun to get to see each other's homes. All right. I'm so glad to be in my warm house versus my cold garage. All right. Now touch opposite hand to opposite foot. This is not dynamic, but it is energetic. So big push as you lift up, lift, lift. Right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. And super soft landing, super soft. If you've fallen on your rear a couple times, that's normal. I do that too in this exercise rest. Okay, we just completed our 10th exercise. We get 25 more seconds of a break, and we do all those one more time, and then we're gonna yoga. All right, let's come to standing. We're back up to the top. Grab your water, 
think I will real fast. Get ready for those squats. All right, eyes forward, chest open, legs are hip width distance. Here we go. This round will fly by. The second round always does. Chest open, shoulder blades squeeze together. Weight in your heels. We don't shift any weight until we start to jump or spring up onto our tippy toes. Okay, stay here. In five, four, three, two, jump, or just come up onto the tippy toes. Whichever you choose, with or without the weights. But I do want everybody up onto those tippy toes. Great. Yes, absorb your landing. As soon as you start down, your legs are bending again. Okay, we have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Get rid of those dumbbells. Push ups and then plyo push ups is what we have coming up. All right. Okay, so let's do a little check on these push ups. I'm going to stay on my knees for these. Make sure your butt's not up. You guys are strong, have super strong core, so shift your weight forward. Squeeze your butt strong. Chin off of your chest, arms the width of your mat. Ready, go. Push up. This is a great beat. Down, up, inhale, exhale. Your palms are directly across from your chest, not up by your head. That's a common error. Let's target the pecs, which is what we're wanting to do here. The arms are directly across from our chest. Okay, take it into a plyo push-up. If you choose, if not, you just keep pushing up. Either way, it's working. Woo, breathe, inhale down. Exhale, on the way up. Keep your form, squeeze everything tight. Chin away from your chest. That's it, that's it. We have three, two, one, stretch it back, child's pose. Great work. Man, the stretch that we have coming up is going to feel like heaven. Grab your dumbbells because we are gonna be so warm. Our muscles are gonna stretch so much better. It's gonna be a great opportunity to increase our flexibility. All right, guys, we're going lateral lunges right here in four, three, two, here we go. You can keep the arms up here. You can have them by your side too. I like to have them here. They just flow a little better for me. Keep your lower abs drawn in. Weight into your heels. Great job. Make sure that your feet are facing forward. Yeah, yeah. All right, drop it. We're taking it into a plyometric version or up onto the tippy toes. More dynamic. Get deep, deep, deep. Here we go. One leg is completely straight while the other is bent. Go really wide. Stretch that leg out long. Seven seconds. Back is flat. Four. Three, two, rest. All right. We have our high plank taps, lateral taps, to a plank jack. But we still have 20 more seconds of a break. So enjoy the break here. Make sure in this plank that we have five more seconds. Your fingers are spread wide. Your wrists and shoulders, ready, go, are in alignment. So your hands aren't out in front of you like this. But I love this perfect song. We're going to bounce in a second. Oh, take your legs. Tap them out. What am I thinking? Tap, 
tap, chin off of your chest. Squeeze your butt tight, use your inner thighs as you come in. Now, if you wanna take it more dynamic, make sure your lower back doesn't arch when you bring those legs together. Join me if you wanna take it more dynamic. If not, you're still tapping. Draw the abs in, scoop your belly in, chin off of your chest, squeeze your butt tight. When you come together, 10 seconds, breathe. Grip the mat with your palm, with your finger, pads of your fingers, three, two, one. Rest. Woo, that's no joke. All right, let's get ready for that right lunge. So grabbing your weights, if you want a little extra. So we're gonna plant the left leg. We're gonna go back with the right, step together, squeeze our butt. Back and together. Are we ready? Set. Here we go. Eyes stay facing forward the whole time. Put your weight into your left heel as you shoot straight up. Squeeze your butt right there. Boom. Squeeze. Great. We have 10 more seconds. And then we're just going to take it into that stationary plyo pop. Five, four, three, two, drop the dumbbells right here. Let's go for it. Or just up on your tippy toes. That's great too. Lift your arms high. Yes. That's it. Ten seconds. Great work. Five seconds. Four. Stay with me. Three. Let's finish. Two. Rest. Woo. All right. Let's take it to that right side plank where we're going to take halfway through the left leg and touch the left fingers. But we still have 15 more seconds of a break. So let's enjoy it. Let's get that shoulder press back. So it's in the socket. This forearm is strong, parallel to the ground, and let's lift, hold. Left arm is up, maybe if you want that. But whatever you do, wherever you are, this left hip needs to be shooting up to the sky. Eyes are forward, don't look down. That just takes your weight and dumps it into the shoulder. This is core, core, and core. All right, take it down to that right knee. Touch, straight arm, straight leg, and extend. Slicing right here. Yes, nice, Emmanuel. Great job, Martha Lynn. Big extension, reach, extend. Stay out of the shoulder. Great job, Leslie and Laura. All right, keep it up. We have five seconds. Four, three, two, carefully come out of it. We're coming back up to standing. Where? We're going to grab our dumbbells. We're going to put this right leg in front. Hold the dumbbells. Taking this left leg straight back. Coming up together strong. You still have 10 seconds of a break. Shoulders, roll down your back. Lower abs pulled in, butt squeezed tight. Here we go. Now, back to what I was saying with that other leg. We were doing the other one a while ago. Keep the weight in your right heel right now. So you feel this. If you lift your toes of the right foot, you feel this go right into your right glute. So it's not just this quad exercise. Our quads are so strong, which is great, but we gotta keep the glutes and hamstrings strong. Two, three, two, one, drop it. Here we go. Plyometric lunge pop here. Up onto the tippy toes, or not. Or jump. 
If you toe or jump. Either way, you throw those arms up high. 10 seconds. That's it. Good. Keep stretching. Watch this knee coming in. Keep it out. Great work. Rest. Woo. Check out those legs. Let's take it to this left elbow. Okay, here we go. So, we still have 20 more seconds of a break. Take the left shoulder, press it back into the socket. And you're on your feet, or maybe you're here. But either way, we're starting in four, three, two, here we go. Lift, right hip shoots up to the sky. Eyes are looking straight forward. And breathe. We don't want to hold our breath here. Stay here. Stay lifted. Stay scooped. Inhale. And exhale. Keep the hips lifted. High. And let's drop it down carefully to our left knee. Extend the right arm overhead. Touch right foot to right hand. Full extension. Let them just meet in the middle. Great job. Nice. If you like beats, this is a pretty good one. Touch, extend. Touch, extend. Great job, Christy, Debbie, Lisa. Nice work. You guys, we have, after this, two more minutes rest of work. Then we go straight into kicking off our shoes, and we're going to hop the yoga. All right. We have this plie, weighted plie, two weighted plie pop. Open up your feet. Push the back of your knees back. Bring the dumbbells here. Roll your shoulders down and back. Are we ready? Set. Here we go. Down and up. Just warming up these inner thighs right here. Sink it low. See if you can get 90 degree angles with those legs. Great, Emmanuel. Yes. Woo. That's it, Renee. Get low. Push those knees back. 15 seconds. Alice, you look awesome. Good job. Sorry, my computer's been hiding your face, so I haven't been acknowledging you, but now I see you. Great work. All right, take it in two, a pop. What you can also do is you can drop the dumbbells and you can come here if you choose, or you can just shoot up onto your tippy toes. We're popping, or we're up on the tippy toes. Woo, you can do this, 10 seconds. Almost there. Five. Stay with me. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Wow. I think that was my least favorite. Okay. Last set right here. And then we just lie flat on our backs after this. We have our dips. So fingers face forward here. Open up the chest. Let's all begin right here, okay? Open up. Fingers face forward, feet are flat, and now from here, lift up, and then go ahead and dip. Trying to keep that great open chest the whole time. And so I say this all the time with dips, it doesn't take much, okay? It's just a little bit, just a teeny little bend. And then we're gonna lift a little higher. We go to reaching that right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Lift. Oh. Exhale as you lift up. I think the first couple are the hardest. It's kind of find the rhythm. And then it starts making more sense for the body. If you just wanna stay in dip, feel free to stay in dip. Lift high, stretch, eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully sit on your rear, take your legs out, kick your shoes off, take your arms above your head or by your side, stay right here. 
stay right here. Yes, hydrate. Definitely hydrate. Okay. I have some much more calming and relaxing music for us here. So just stay here, letting your body relax, letting your heartbeat get to a resting heartbeat. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth right here. Sorry. All right, so we're gonna move through a series of Hatha yoga stretches and poses. This is not necessarily a flow, so we're not gonna be doing any kind of flow work. You will want your, if you have blocks, have your blocks close by you. We're just gonna use those for a couple of different things. Still lying on your backs, just letting your body relax. Okay, better, right? So I would encourage you, <sighs> allow yourself to completely melt into your mat. And now what we're gonna do is bring our feet together and our knees apart into Supta Baddha Konasana. And if you have yoga blocks, you can take these and kind of prop them right underneath your, your kind of hip area to help with the support of the opening of the hips. However, what I will say is because we are all so good and stretched out, warmed up rather, it's gonna, our bodies are gonna get in those places much more easily than they would if we were just now arriving to class after having gotten out of our car, even just gotten out of, um, went from your bedroom to your mat. So you may not need these blocks. I'm actually gonna not use mine right now because my hips are good and relaxed. So right now, knees are opened up, feet are together, arms are out. Chin is drawn into your chest, slowing down your breath. And then I want you to go ahead and bring your knees together very gently. And we're gonna take our knees all the way over to the left side of our body, right here. So taking your right arm out to the side, your left hand to the outside of the right knee and just enjoy this twist. Looking over your right shoulder, hold this here. Nice and slow. I want you to just continue to feel your breathing slow down. Now draw your lower abs in and then come back to center with your knees, bring them back in, and then take your knees all the way over to the right side of your body oh, and looking over your left shoulder. So your hand is to the outside of the right, of the left knee, gently pressing down to give you a deeper spinal twist, lower back twist. Try to keep your left shoulder anchored on the ground. We're holding each stretch just about a minute each from transition time to the end is gonna be just about a minute so that our bodies can settle into the stretch. And now go ahead and gently with your abs, lower abs 
drawing back in. Bring your knees back up to center and wrap your arms all the way around your legs. Give your legs a big hug and then take your head and rest it to the ground, drawing your chin into your chest, looking at this little triangle that your forearms and your knees are making. It's a little pinch of the hips. Hold this here. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears, pressing the back, your shoulder blades to the ground, pressing as much as your back to the ground as you can. Stay right here. Eyes open or closed, whatever allows you to avoid distraction. All right, from here, let's go ahead and roll ourselves up right here. And we're just gonna flip over onto our knees into our tabletop. Well, let's go ahead and since our feet are out of our shoes, instead of having our toes tucked under right now, let's go ahead and just have the top of the feet on the ground and just do some, some tapping of the tops of your feet here. Draw your lower abs in. We're gonna stretch out these calves. All right, but first let's take the toes now and then tuck them under for a good stretch here of the arches of your feet and the toes. Feet, so important. When you have feet issues, you realize the value of healthy feet. So we want healthy, happy feet. And one of the things we have to do for that is to keep them stretched. So with our toes tucked under, we're gonna sit back right here in child's pose. So reach your arms out long, forehead to the ground, tip of your nose grazing and try to keep the toes tucked under. If it's uncomfortable, just keep breathing. This is so good for our feet. Now open up your hands and your arms wider so that now that the width of your mat, you're gonna feel this more into your chest more into your lats but you're still sitting back into your child's pose breathing filling your whole body up and then exhale now walk your fingers back so that our arms are parallel to one another and shift your weight forward again into your cat cow. And we're gonna take this left leg, or excuse me, right leg, reach it long. So we're on our left knee and we're gonna stretch, ooh, this feels good, the right heel back. Do you feel that hopefully in your right calf? So you can take your arms up a little bit higher if that helps you. And then we'll just shift forward and then shift back. So just rocking front to back, keeping your neck long. We don't wanna lose that good long spine, but we do wanna keep this good stretch in this right calf. So just shifting front to back. then let's go ahead and bring this right leg back to parallel where it meets the left. Let's go ahead and take our feet so that they're flat on the ground again. The top of our feet are flat and we're going to take our left hand to the ground and we're going to reach our right arm up, up, up. We're going to thread the needle. Let's just stay right here. Hold this. I know it's super uncomfortable. Right here. Watch this right hip popping out. Keep the hips squared. And now let's go ahead and take this right arm under the left arm, right shoulder to the mat left arm reaches all the way up to the top of your mat as your right arm shoots underneath you. Sit your glutes back. Keep walking your fingers of the left hand up, up, up your mat. It's like when we have the yellow pages, you know, the yellow page hands. That's what I always think about when I'm stretching my arms up. I just think about the yellow page fingers. Walk, walk, walk up. Boy, 
Ask a 20-year-old about the Yellow Pages and they wouldn't know what the heck that is. All right, let's go ahead, come back up to center. All right, your hands are right back here. We're going to now tuck the toes under, extend the left leg right here, and then stretch that left heel back towards the ground, or back behind us rather, and then shift forward, and then shift it back. You can hold it if that feels better for you, or you can just rock front to back. I don't think I realized I was as tight as I was in my calves, but this feels like heaven right here. I hope it feels good to you. Maybe it's a hurt so good kind of feel. Shifting front to back. Keeping those fingers really wide, gripping the mat. So you're not dumping into your wrists, but you're lifting up tall. Your spine is still long, your neck is long. And let's go ahead and take this left knee back. So we're back into the tabletop and now we're going to lift the left arm all the way up and hold it here. So don't let your hips pop over to the right. Keep your hips neutral and squared. Left arm is reaching up. So keep stretching it up, 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 up. And then let's go ahead and thread it under the right arm. So your left shoulder is to your mat. Your left ear is to the mat. Your right arm is walking up your mat. And let's just hang out here. stretch through the right side through your right lat area so just right under right behind right where your shoulder blade is that's where we want to feel this good stretch and let's go ahead bring the right arm back and now we're going to take it into just some good spinal stretches with the cat cow here so arms or fingers are nice and wide arms are parallel we're going to inhale lift our eyes up to the sky and then exhale round tuck your tailbone under chin draws to your chest inhale arch eyes look up the wall all the way up to the ceiling Exhale, round, tucking your tailbone under, chin draws to your chest. We're angry cat right now, and now we're shifting into our cow. Eyes look up, and exhale, round, tucking everything under and in. One more time, inhale, eyes look up. And exhale, round. Okay, right here, stay rounded. If your toes are not tucked under, go ahead and do so. And then from here, bring your knees off your mat just like an inch. And then from here, we're gonna press it back into your downward facing dog. Press your heels to the ground. You can adjust your arm width if you need. I needed to take my arms a little wider. Reach your heels to the ground and just stay here for a second. Oh, and now pedal out your heels right and left, nice and slow. Open your fingers wide, you're gripping the mat. Nice and slow. and press now both heels back see if you can get a deeper stretch here take your chest reach it to your knees rest keep resting your heels to the ground and then let's shift our weight all the way forward rolling forward and now let's take it all the way down to our stomach take your arms the width of your mat 
we're gonna lift up into Cobra. So anchor your legs, and we're slowly gonna lift our upper body up, but we're not pushing with our arms. You're lifting with your upper body. Legs are strong, shoulders roll down your back. And then go ahead and take it down. Let's go and take your left ear to the mat, arms by your side. Palms face up. And let's go ahead and bring our arms back to the width of our mat. Palms are directly across from our chest. Roll your shoulders down your back. Legs are strong. So we've got that strong cobra tail. And we're going to lift up just a little bit. <coughs> Pull the elbows in. You don't want to necessarily look up. Cranking your neck. Just keep your neck long. Looking at the tip of your mat. Keep your elbows drawn in and slowly lower. Now let's take the right ear to your mat. Arms by your side, palms face up. Stay right here. Bring your arms back up. So this time, take them closer to your chest. Let's have your forehead to the ground, tip of your nose raising. And as Amy likes to say, we like take a marble and roll it forward with our nose as we come up. Shoulders draw down your back. Shoulder blades squeeze together, elbows in. Legs are strong. Glutes are engaged. Inhale, lift a little higher if you can, and then slowly take it all the way down. And then from here, press it back up into your downward facing dog. See if you can find more space here in the second downward facing dog. So wiggling your way through it. Oh. Maybe you come up onto your tippy toes and then rest your heels back, down, and lifting up onto our tippy toes and back down towards the ground. Let's just keep doing this. So this little lift onto the tippy toes, if you're looking at your toes, you see that this continues to be a stretch for the feet and then resting our heels down to the ground. So Sarah, I saw on your Instagram post comment that you have plantar fasciitis. I'm so sorry. I have struggled with that myself. This is so good for it right here. It all stems in the calves most of the time. Achilles, tight calves and Achilles. So our calves, our hamstrings, our back, all the back body is involved in the feet. So this is really good right here for our feet because it's stretching everything in the back. Keep going. All right, now from here, I know the upper body's getting tired. Lift your right leg up. Don't lift your right arm. Lift your right leg and let's open up the right hip. Arms are strong. So make sure you're not dumping in the left arm. The right hip is open. Both arms are equal, have equal weight distribution. Keep opening up the hip. And now let's square off the hips and let's bring this right leg all the way forward. And we're gonna take this left knee down to the ground. You might need to double up your mat depending on your surface. And we're gonna just hold this here. So press your right knee forward. Let's now take our hands behind our back, reach your knuckles to the back of your leg, of your left leg, and lift your upper body up. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep the right knee opened up and open up your heart and your chest here. Eyes look up to the sky and breathe. For 
for some of us, this is like, ah, oh, best thing ever. For some of us, it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> so if you're feeling like this is the worst thing ever, I want you to just keep breathing. Hold this here. Keep stretching your hips forward as you lift your upper body up and back. And now bring your hands to your hips right here. Bring your hands to the outside of your feet. And we're going to now walk this right foot all the way over to the edge of our mat. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot and press this right knee out. In fact, let's all take our right hand to the inside of the right leg and open up right here, a little twist. This left hand is down. We're looking over our right shoulder. <sighs> Breathe into the hips. center. Bring that right leg ooh, back. Stretch it back into child's pose for a second. Let's counter those stretches that we just did by taking our hips back. And then we're going to come back into this tabletop and we're going to hover. You see where we're going here? And we're going to press our glutes up and our heels down to the ground. Take a little a little um, body scan right now. How is your body feeling? Hopefully, this downward dog feels even better than it did in your first. Keep stretching your chest towards your knees. And now let's lift the left leg up high and open up the left hip. Flex your left foot. Look under your right shoulder. Rest your right heel to the ground. Arms are strong. Don't let your body dump into the mat. Press your body away from the mat. And then let's come back to center and bring this left leg all the way forward. And we're going to take the right knee down to the ground. Bring your hands to your left quad. And then as you're ready, we're going to switch your grip this time and reach, Ooh. reach your knuckles all the way down your leg, eyes look up to the sky, press your hips forward, lift your upper body up and back. back to our left foot or left knee and we're going to take our hands down walk this left foot out to the outside of your mat take the left hand push to the the outside to the push the inside of your left leg with your left hand and we're going to twist looking over our left shoulder Nice and slow. Keep applying a little bit of um, pressure to that right knee as you twist. You can twenty to can you to twist and twist and twist and ring out your spine. And go ahead and come back to center. Let's walk that left foot back all right or to the front of our mat and now we're going to step our right leg to meet the left right here is where we're going to be we are in ragdoll so i want your body just limp and noodly legs are bent knees are bent you can sway from side to side letting your fingers drag the mat And I, and 
understanding. I'm going over time here. We have about 10 more minutes. If you want to, if you have time to stay, stay. If not, I encourage you to just wrap this up with a little Shavasana, but I'm going to hang on for about another 10 minutes here. I want to give you all every bit of this Hatha Yoga that you can, that I have to give you. Take your right hand under your right foot. Take your left hand under your left foot. So now we're in gorilla pose. So this is a great stretch through your hamstrings. Great stretch through your lats. As you press your feet down onto your hands, relax your head. And lift your upper body just a little bit for a deeper stretch. So now we are applying a little bit of resistance to this. This is intense, in my opinion. And then go ahead and undo. Roll yourself up, gentle with those hamstrings, one vertebra at a time. Press your hips forward. Let's stretch our back and counter that forward bending that we just did. So the glutes are firmed up. Bring your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart up. We're going to take it next into triangle. So if you have yoga blocks, you may want to grab those. So right here, let's just begin with in a big straddle, feet facing forward. And we're gonna take this right toe, turn it out. So the left foot is facing forward, right toe, or right foot is facing out. Take your arms out nice and wide. And we're just gonna hinge at the hips. So we're just gonna go down, 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 down. All right, so where the block comes in handy is to place right here. Lift up through the left arm. So we want to make sure, even if we have the block, wherever we have it, wherever, if it's high, if it's lower, that we're not just hanging out with this block. We're not using it. It is a prop, but we're only using it to help us with our form. We're not using it to, like, dump into. And I use that word dump because um, I think that can happen a lot of times. So make sure that you're still lifting up through the left side, shoulders down away from your ears as you stretch down to the ground and lift up through your left arm. It's a lot of core work here. And let's go ahead and bend the right leg. And then from there we can come back up. And then we'll straighten. And then let's take the right foot, face it forward, open up the left foot, and from here, we'll take that left arm all the way down and open up through the right arm, lifting up and over. So that left hand is just to the inside of the left leg. Great job. For those of you who are hanging on doing this, hope your body's feeling so good. Breathing in through your nose. back up right here to warrior two bend or straighten out your left leg and we're just going to heel toe your feet together we're going to work into a little balance work here all right so we're going to take it into a quad stretch and then dancer so lift your left arm up right hand opens up like you're asking somebody for some money and you're going to take this right foot and place it into the right palm and just stay here pull your knees in together so we're gonna rock this quad stretch first good and you may need to grab a wall or something to hang it onto so this left quad of the standing leg I want you to engage it lift it up so we're not here but we're here lift up high Okay, from this point, you're just going to start to hinge, hinge forward. Press the 
right foot into the right hand. Extend that left arm forward. If you get out of it, you just get back into it. No big deal. Keep going. Keep kicking. Keep reaching. And then come back up. Slow, slow. Woo! Woo! Great work. That is intense. Shake it out. Okay. Right quad is strong. We're going to reach our right arm up. Left hand comes out. Go ahead and take this left foot into the left palm. So we don't want to have it here. We want to keep it open. Okay, so bring your knees in. <clears throat> reach your arm up tall. Right kneecap and is lifted up. Quad is strong of the right leg. Once you find your balance, I want you to start to hinge. And as you hinge, push the left foot into the left hand. You're getting a good stretch through this left shoulder. You got it, and reach. Wherever your front is, reach. And you're continuing to push this left foot into the left hand. Oh, go ahead and slowly come out of it. Nice job. That's not easy. All right. Shake it out. Give your body a little wiggle. Okay, lift your arms up. Inhale, lift. And then exhale. We're going to sit into chair pose right here. We're going to start to wind down. Thank you for being here. All right, stay here. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Squeeze your knees together. And from here, we're going to twist. So without your knees doing this, Stabilize your lower body and just twist that left elbow over the, the knees. And then we're going to take the right elbow to the outside of the right, I'm sorry, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And then we're going to look over our right shoulder. I want you to really press the palms together. Squeeze the knees together. Keep looking over the right shoulder for that good twist. Draw the lower abs in. Inhale. Exhale. And come back up nice and tall. Press your hips forward. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to seated. Shoulders down away from your ears. All right. Are you ready? Draw the lower abs in. Anchor the legs. And take the right elbow across the legs across to the left knee and then we're going to look over our left shoulder and keep twisting keep those knees center of your body ringing out our spine breathing 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 inhale exhale and on the next inhale, we're going to come up. Oh, arms by your side. Exhale. One more balancing pose. We're going to take this right foot. We did this on Tuesday. Up here. If you that doesn't feel right for you, place it right here or right here. Okay. And we're going to come right here. Open up your knees. We're almost there. Shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> Open up these hips. If your feet are on the ground, wherever your leg is, open up big. Yep, you can do this. This feels really good. <sighs> now, just like we did a while ago when we were in dancer's pose, the left quad is strong here. So the left leg isn't just hanging out, it's engaged. So tighten up that left quad. Let's lift our arms up. And then bring the arms down. And then slide this right foot down your leg. Guys, this is it. And then we're going to take it to our backs. So right quad is strong. 
right here. We're gonna bring this left foot up into the inner thigh or to the shin, calf area. Not shin, but calf. <sighs> okay, so if we just close our eyes, this music, I'm just thinking we're sitting like on the beach somewhere, drinking a glass of wine together. Sunshine, ocean breeze. I feel it. I can see it. It's good. Draw your lower abs in, shoulders down away from your ears. We can take our arms out to the side. If you want a little extra challenge, close your eyes. And lift your arms up. Big stretch up. Inhale. Exhale, bring your arms down. Yes. Slide that left leg all the way down. And let's take it to our backs. We earned a final Shavasana. We started in Shavasana. We're going to finish. Thank you for allowing me to go a little later with you. Let your legs go all the way out. Take your arms above your head. Full body stretch right here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Your arms can come by your side if you want. Feel your chest rising off of your mat or up away from your mat towards the sky. And then feel your body melt back into your mat. Let each of you stay exactly where you are. We're going to skip social time. And I'm just going to let you hang out in Shavasana here. And I hope to see you tomorrow for Muscular Max Out. Assuming Amy has power, the Yoga Lotties at 9.30. But stay here as long as you want to. of you today is that you stay warm, that we get restored power for all of our family and friends, for all those who are suffering right now, that they receive comfort and warmth very soon, that the sun would shine on all of you today, and that we return safely back here tomorrow. Thank you.